I'm Professor Anwar Shetty. As far as this institution is concerned, I'm an advisor. Otherwise, I'm also the chairman of the Karnataka State University Review Commission. I was also earlier in AICT. Yes, sir. I was also the member secretary and chief executive Indira Gandhi Center, National Center for Arts, New yes, Delhi. And I'm closely associated with UGC and other areas as well. We are students from different parts of the country are participating. This is on the model of what we find in prestigious institutions like IIT Bombay, they call it as Mood Indigo, and NIT Surakkal, they call it as Incident. And it attracts students from all over the country. And many activities take place besides cultural, on educational activities, competitions, etc., etc. And the students manage the whole show. We are not interfering in any manner. We provide them some funds. Funds are also raised by them. And uh, this is one way of uh, providing them a opportunity to, become, to have some leadership qualities, manage things, which will go a long way in shaping their future and also in getting jobs outside. So it is not really uh, entertainment. But more than that, it's a real test of their background, knowledge, and so on and so forth. Uh, quizzes are there, and many uh, important competitions are there, which will also enhance their academic background. And therefore, we started in a small way, some 10, 15 years. Now we have reached on all India uh, level. Many, about 80 institutions are participating from all over the country. We provide them with uh, accommodation and students have an opportunity to manage things. Completely it is managed and handled by them. So also it's a great. sort of technocultural festival. It's a technocultural festival, both educational and uh, cultural. And therefore it is proven to be a success. If you happen to come tomorrow night, you'll find thousands of people all over the city participating in this. And very important uh, artists are also being invited, sometimes on payment and so on and so forth. So it's a good example. And many institutions are doing, but only the levels are a little different. Sir, sir uh, apart from uh, this uh, cultural uh, fests and other things, so Nitya Meenakshi is Nitya very Meenakshi forward. Nitya is also known for certain activities which are not normally carried out in normal colleges. First of all, it has got highest accreditation and academic recognition uh, from the, uh, for example, National Assessment Accreditation Board for the UGC has given A category. Such institutions are few. Also, we have got accreditation from the National Board of Accreditation. And it, we are also a very youngest autonomous institution, more or less functioning like a university. We have all the freedom to have our own curriculum, syllabi, and so on and so forth. Only the degree is given of the university. And also, they are given a lot of opportunities to get placement. For example, this is a placement. And about 600 to 700 students are getting jobs. In recent days, they are getting jobs at the higher level also. Something like 20 lakhs per year. And more than that, there is an atmosphere of trying to do research and, and inculcate this requirement even among the faculty. About 60 members of the faculty are PhDs, another 30, 40 are doing PhD, and uh, therefore it is a little different from other institutions. And we have got about five centers of excellence one on robotics, one on satellite, like that, five. And these are really nationally competent type of activities taking place. All round development is our main objective. Any student who comes here not only gets a degree, good degree, but also has a background whereby he can command respect and recognition outside. Sir, recently we had a tie-up with uh, North Dakota University. Yeah, we have also collaborations with international universities, particularly uh, we have a long uh, cooperation with North Dakota State University in Fargo in USA. It's one of the uh, well-known old universities, land-grant university. 
and our students go there for a short period. Our faculty also can have interaction. They can also get their degree from there. And this is also trying to enhance the quality of research and innovation in all our activities. Sir, and for this uh, forthcoming year, so what are your plans for uh, your NITE group, sir? Both here and uh, at uh, any, any, in, any, in, any, in sir. Mangalore, yes, sir. it has a bigger establishment. We have an engineering college, we have got all types of colleges. Medical college is there, and polytechnic is there. Yes, of course, polytechnic is also we have here. Yes, First grade colleges are there. And the medical college is well recognized. Yes, Dental college is there. Pharmacy college is there. Any branch of uh, knowledge, we have uh, programs. So they're also they're encouraging research. More or less like us, our medical college is recognized as one of the most... Uh, so to colleges. increase uh, more R&D activities they're with the PG there. students and PhD students, uh, any plans to have an incubation center with we the have already. companies? No, 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 I'll tell you one thing. We have a cell called IEDC, Entrepreneurship Development Cell, for the Department of Science and Technology for the last 10 years. And under the cell, students do some projects and that project is funded by the Department of Science and Technology. Now we want to upgrade that and make it a step, science and technology park, which you normally find in IITs. And we also got an incubation center for the Ministry of MSME, about 65 lakhs they have given, out of which each student who has a project will get about 6.5 lakhs per year. Like that, 10 students are given. So we are doing that also, that like those who go for entrepreneurship and all that. What a focus on that. Sir, you being the big group, uh, educational sector, so now Prime Minister is having a lot of, uh, say, Digital India, Make in India, no, Startup India and all those. Bharat, so active. education field will definitely contribute to these yeah, things. I think sir. this government in the last budget has made an uh, announcement that not only government institutions but equal number of private institutions will also be encouraged for development, for support and all that. Probably we would like to try to be one of them, if possible. That is the, our future plans. And we are also, in, uh, we have got also some work on skill development. In fact, Saram Vishishwar has Skill Development Center Institute is located in our campus. I'm the vice chairman of that. Chief secretary of the Karnataka government is the chairman. And that's a big project where we are trying to bring out master trainers. See, now we don't have proper training yes, to those who study in the ITIs. Yes, Quality is very poor. Yes, For that you have to have real good teachers or you call them master trainers. The scheme is available in Germany and other countries. And that we are trying to establish in the name of some research lab. It will be finally located in Muddenhalli. But now, Karnataka government has given us 10 acres of land, 20 crores for the buildings, and we are expecting some money from central government also. And we are getting some funds from five nationalized banks, which were started from Karnataka. And then Coal India Limited, Gale, all that sort of thing. That's also coming, and we are participating in that. Our placement rate also is quite high. Students who are placed in industry. We are not encouraging everybody to become an employee. Entrepreneurship development is also a part of our activity. Sir, tech group, tech group. Of course, ah. we have also got tech group, means technical education quality improvement program. For the faculty? Not for, for the whole development. Oh, for we are one of the, yeah, after all, we are only 11, 12 years old. Yes. We are the youngest autonomous college in the country. When we were seven years old only, we got autonomous. Autonomy. Accreditation, A grade, NAC, also from NBA, both of them. So I think with all this, our objective to bring out bright young persons who will do well for the country is likely to succeed. I am Nagraj, principal of Nite Minaj Institute of Technology, Bangalore. 
every year we are conducting one techno cultural festival at the national level which is known as anardyantam anardyantam means neither beginning nor ending that is like a sky without beginning without ending in kannada we call as aadi rahita antya rahita and this anardyanta was started in the year 2004 and now it has grown up like anything and this year we are conducting this anardyanta for 3 days that is on 3rd 4th and 5th of march 2016 and we have got about entries about around 80 colleges across india have participated and several colleges uh, several institutions like iit madras iit bombay bits pilani bits goa they are all taking part in the activities on third we were having technical events as a part of anardyanta 2016 and technical events there were total about 30 events like paper pair presentations web page design java programming then robo wars exo uh, uh, part like that and about uh, 50 colleges they participated in these technical events and the technical events was inaugurated by the professor from indian institute of science professor jayavant arikeri that is on 3rd march and Fourth and fifth, we are having cultural festival as a part of Anadhanta 2016. And today, that is fourth of March, the cultural festival was inaugurated by the Honorable Minister for Health and Family Welfare of the Government of Karnataka, uh, Mr. Abdul Kader. Yes. It was inaugurated by the Honorable Minister for Family and Health, uh, Health and Family Welfare of Government of Karnataka, Mr. Yudi uh, Yudi Kader. And the other guest was uh, Mr. Neeraj Kumar. the vice president of wipro and there were other eminent persons who also took part in the inal program uh, or uh, mr ajay one one minute mr arjun sir uh, mr arjun arjun janya who is a famous musical director singer and composer of kannada and miss aishani shetty who is a famous kannada film actress and also our honorable advisor professor enna shetty was also present dr sudha rao former advisor of aict new delhi she was also present mr rohit punja the advice the administrator of our trust was also present our dean academic professor anna shetty dean rnd dr janam majumdar they were all there and the student convener for this anadanta 2016 is miss sneha choudhary who is a final year computer science student the students have worked day and night for this program since two months and this cultural festival that is on 3rd 4th and 5th of march it includes events like fashion show then rangoli competition solo dance group dance solo singing group singing and also there is a performance by uh, benny dayal from mumbai several events will be conducted and it is like a festival all students will be looking very uh, neatly dressed colorful dresses and campus will be having very fun and it has gone to a very big extent and about uh, 8 to 10000 students are participating in these events that is on 3rd and 4th of march and college is moving forward with the support of management students faculty and college got the autonomous status in the year 2007 college got accredited by the new washington accord uh, by the national board of accreditation and also the college got accredited by the national assessment and accreditation council a part of ugc with grade a grade a stands for very good it is for a period of 5 years from the 2014 to 2019 and college got the world bank funding that is called tech up technical education quality improvement program with a tune of 4 crores to conduct various faculty development programs to support faculty for presenting papers and to present papers in the journals to attend workshops and also to conduct special classes for academically weaker students so college is moving forward everybody is working very sincerely and dedicatedly and uh, i wish all the students all the best
Shiva, Shiva.